This is part two of my introductory video to AutoCAD. Now that you're familiar with some parts of the interface, we're going to make some modifications um, to the settings and customization options within AutoCAD to make it a little easier to use. So the first thing that we did was change the icons at the bottom to show the words such as snap, grid, ortho, etc. That's a small customization, but one that will make it a little easier for you. The majority of the other options for customizing the interface for AutoCAD, at least that we're going to go over now, are in the options of AutoCAD. Now, you can either hit options from your pull-down. You'll notice that that's available at the bottom. Or a better suggestion, probably, is to get used to typing in commands. So this is really the first command that you may type in AutoCAD. And so you're going to have to start watching that command line at the very bottom. So in this case, we can type options. But rather than typing the whole word, most commands have shortcuts that you can do. In this case, the first two letters of options, so OP, if we type that, you don't have to click at the command line. As soon as you start typing letters, AutoCAD puts them at the command line by default. So now we can press space or enter. Either one will register that command with AutoCAD so that AutoCAD runs the command for you. So I'm going to press space and it opens your options dialog box. Now there are lots of tabs. Now on the display tab may be the first thing that we want to change. And that's the background color. Depending on which version of AutoCAD you're using, you may have a off-white background color, which is not very easy to see as you start drawing. Most people prefer a black or dark gray background color. So on the display tab, I'm going to click the colors button on the left side. So again, OP for options and space, the display tab, and then the colors button. Now by default, this should be on the first choice in the upper left box, 2D model space and the first choice in the center box, Uniform Background. Now on the upper right, you have the color pull down, and you can choose black if it is anything that is off-white or gray that maybe you don't like as much. Most people prefer it to be black because it's easy to see, get a lot of contrast with the colored lines that you'll be drawing with. And then you can hit Apply and Close, and uh, that will then uh, save that color for when we leave here in a moment. Now, your crosshair size is another optional thing that you can change. So again, I'm still on the display tab. Crosshair size on the lower right. I usually make mine fairly large. It's easy to see it on screen. And it helps you to kind of align things as you're drawing. But again, that's somewhat subjective. So if you want to leave it, that's fine too. Open and Save tab. Moving on to the Open and Save tab. Um, I would suggest you say change the incremental save percentage to zero if it's not already. I'm not going to get into too many details about why at this point. Your automatic save right here, I would change to about 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, now, a comment on what is automatic save. That is not does not mean you don't need to save your file. You're going to want to save your file every 5 minutes or 10 minutes as you're working on it. But if you do go for, let's say, an hour and you forget the save, and then uh, hypothetically the power goes out, maybe uh, it's a storm outside and the power goes out to your building, um, if you don't save for a period of 10 minutes or so, it will do automatic save, but it's a different type of file in a different location. So then you have to go and hunt for that file, transfer the file type and whatnot. So it's not something you want to rely on every day. It's more of a backup worst case scenario. Um, if you do have a crash and you lose a lot of work, then you can go and recover from that. So you do want to save about every 5 or 10 minutes while you're working. Because there will be times when AutoCAD will crash on you now and then. Um, so just a, a note on that so that you don't uh, just not save because you think it's doing it for you. On uh, the next tab that we need to probably look at is the User Preferences, User Preferences tab. Uh, first, on the lower right, click on line weight settings and change that. After you click on the button, change it to inches and then apply and close one time. And that'll save that setting for when you get to line weights later. 
on the upper left corner, you'll see uh, two check boxes should be checked. If they're not checked, go ahead and check those. Double click editing and shortcut menus and drawing area. Once we check those two, you'll have the option to click on right click customization, which you generally want to change. Now, again, this is a little subjective, but I'm going to suggest that you change it to the way that most people work in most companies. You'll see there's three groups here, default mode, edit mode, and command mode, kind of categorized. So in default mode, we want it to be on repeat last command. For edit mode, we want it to be on shortcut menu. And for command mode, we want it to be on enter. Now what this means exactly is going to be become clearer as you get into AutoCAD a little bit farther. But basically you're controlling what the right mouse button does on your mouse. It's a very powerful tool to make your uh, process speed up a little as you get to drafting. So hit apply and close once. Uh, the only other thing I'd probably suggest that you change now is on the selection tab on the left side you'll see a uh, group here for selection preview and I usually suggest you uncheck the box for when no command is active. Uncheck that box. So you can leave checked when a command is active but uncheck when no command is active. Basically when you have a lot of objects in your drawing and you're moving your mouse back and forth the selection preview is somewhat distracting um, and I think it's easier to uncheck that but leave it checked when there is a command active. I think that's easiest for most new users. And that's about it for here. So you can press OK on the options.